What's up guys welcome to Apex thanks for tuning in today we have got a huge update for goodlock application and some of the modules on goodlock now most of these changes are minor on all these modules but for home of module there is a major update which offers some added new features which i'll come to it in a bit now let me just take you through all these changes in the change log for the other modules first one is theme park as you can see, we have import from theme parks theme option now, and there are some other minor bug fixes. Now, when they say import from theme parks theme, I was not actually able to figure out what exactly is this on the module. I think uh, the developers should do a better job in explaining it to us or elaborating the changes which we received on every update. But anyways, when I figure this out, I will come back to you with another video. Now, uh, the next one is good lock application itself. Now there is sorting the order by application installed status, ready for new app called routine plus modified GUI issues. Now again, the sorting the order by app installation status, uh, I did not figure out. And this GUI, I presume this is good lock user interface. Uh, there is some modified GUI issues here, which again, you know, does not clearly explain what exactly are these changes. But here, one exciting update is the second point ready for new application called Routine Plus. So uh, if I'm not wrong, there is a new application or the new module which will be added on GoodLock application that would be called as Routine Plus. Uh, we don't know exactly what it is all about, but let's wait and see. I'm sure there will be a new app which will be added on GoodLock very soon. Usually we see an update for the GoodLock application in advance, which would support the upcoming modules. Now the next one is notice star we have got show the alert message when the lock screen height content setting is turned on so there will be an alert message shown even when the height content setting is turned on on your phone then there is fixed database searching issue with special characters and fixed other minor bugs as well now coming to the clock phase the chain lock talks about update gif image resource update angle correction logic when editing customized items these are some changes which again I would like to explore and figure out what exactly they are. I will perhaps make another video and come back to you guys with all these new features. All right, now the most exciting update is on home of application or home of module on GoodLock app. Now, as you can see here, added two kinds of layout, vertical list, slim list, support mini mode only for list, grid, stack list type, add circular list mode only for vertical list, slim list, provide quick launch of split screen on recent app. So these are the four new features which have been added on home of module. Now all these new features are specifically for task changer feature on home of module. Okay, then let's go ahead and take a look at all of them. Let me open good lock app and let's open home of module. Let's go to task changer. As you can see here, we have got layout types. There were only three before. Now we have got vertical list and slim list. Let's supply vertical list. This is how it is. Now let's apply slim list. This is how it looks like. In fact, these two layout types were available in the previous version of One UI uh, before we got One UI 3.1 or perhaps One UI 3.0. I'm not very sure. I don't remember exactly. But these two layout types were already available before. And uh, after the latest update after One UI 3.1 or One UI 3.0, only three layout types were supported. List, grid and stack were supported. Now, uh, these two are the new addition on One UI 3.1. The next added feature is support mini mode, which supports only three layout types, which are list, grid, stack. Now, first let's select one of these three layouts. Let me just select list. Now we can see an option here called mini mode. When we enable this, and when we swipe up to see the recently used applications, you can see this layout is in mini mode. All the recently used applications are in small window at the bottom which makes the one-handed operation easier. You can easily use your thumb to slide them around and select them. This is a very thoughtfully designed feature on this module now. Remember, this works only on three layout types, list, grid, and stack. Now, the next exciting added new feature is circular list mode. 
Again, this is applicable only for two layout types, vertical list and slim list, which are the newly added layout types. So to see that toggle or the option in this module, first we will have to select the supported layout type. So let me just select vertical list here. Now you can see we have got an all new toggle here called circular list. Now let's enable this. When I swipe up to go to the recently used apps, we can see the vertical list view, which has got this circular motion. Looks kind of cool, isn't it? It is more of a visual change, but it is definitely welcome. It looks fantastic. Now let me select slim list. This is how the slim list looks when we enable the circular list mode. All right, now let's go to the last feature on the change log, which says provide quick launch of split screen on recently used applications. In fact, this feature arrived in the last update itself. I did make a video about the new update for Home Up module. So in that video, I have shown how exactly this feature works. When we swipe up and open recent apps, you will be able to see a grid icon here. When you tap on that, you will be able to open split screen apps. The recently used application will be on top and you will be able to see select split screen application at the bottom where you can select any application you want to open it in split screen view instantly right from the recently used applications. Apart from these new features mentioned in the change log, uh, we can also see a toggle here called recommended apps which shows the recommended apps on recent app screen, but I could not figure out how exactly it's going to show. I have already enabled this toggle. And when I go to recent app screen, I don't see any recommended apps here. If you guys are able to figure this feature out, do let me know in the comment section below. Uh, for that matter, any new features which I have not shown on this video, if you're able to see that and if you're able to recognize them, do leave a comment about it so that it can benefit the community. So these are the updates we have received on GoodLock application and its modules. I will probably come back to you guys with another video to show you some of the features which I have not discussed in this particular video. That is all I have here in this video. If you are new on the channel, make sure to subscribe to be a part of Apex community. I make videos on Samsung Galaxy phones, Galaxy watches, Android applications and anything related to technology. And I do create contents on all these new updates which we receive on Samsung phones. So make sure you subscribe and you can also smash that like button if you find this video useful. That's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.